Clark, first off, again, thank you so very much for having fun with us. Oh, man, this was a treat for me. This was awesome. I hadn't done much of the simulator golf. That's being good, able man. to um, push Ethan a little bit. There you go. Yeah, man. There you I didn't go. get. I seem like I'm coming up second all the time. Man. Yeah, you'll be. <laughs> it'll be okay. You, 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 you handle it like a champ. There you go. You hand. You at least handle it like a champ. There you, there you go. go. That's it. That's so it. now what we like to do is is talk about some things that uh, some of the youth in Columbus and, and around the world may may face uh, as far as struggles. Um, and our common theme is for this time around is perseverance mm. and how to get through things. And one thing I want us to cover is taking a loss. It seems to me, and I don't know how you feel about it, but the generation coming up, they have a hard time with, with a loss, yeah. right? Um, they feel just because they don't win this time that they're losers, they're done, they're over with. Uh, what, so what, what do you think that yeah. boils down to? I just think there's so much more noise out there now, Corey, for these right. younger kids coming up, social media. And even the pressure I think they sometimes can feel from those closest to them. Okay. Siblings, parents, extended family. People are so invested sometimes in the success of their young people that they tend to forget about the process of development that really is the great value in sports okay. is the process of development and part of development is handling losses disappointments wins the unexpected that's all part of it yeah. and so to keep that foremost in mind is critical this is a journey and winning can be enjoyable and it's something you strive for but it's not the be all end all especially with young folks that are learning a game, that are figuring out how to enjoy a game. Because we play games primarily because they're fun. The first element is having fun and not putting pressure on yourself to perform, but to enjoy doing whatever it is you're doing. So to me, I think a lot of times the pressure that kids feel is from those on the outside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And being able to to have those influences of kids really help them embrace the enjoyment of their particular game to really prioritize that early so that it becomes part of their reason for playing. And then you can build on to wanting to excel, wanting to do your best and wanting to win. But I think we have to put that in a different order, especially early on. Yeah. Especially early on. That's the way. And our kids all were Division One college athletes. Our daughter played volleyball. Our boys played basketball. Nick, our youngest, played basketball in college, but played soccer through high school. And my thing was always that to, to ask them, were they enjoying playing? Yeah. You know, are you enjoying it? And make sure that that's a big part of what why you're doing it. Yeah, you want to win and you'd like to get a medal or a trophy or whatever, but Make sure you don't lose the uh, the, the enjoyment to, to really embrace having fun. I have a ten year old son, and uh, we're in a travel sports now. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he made his travel baseball team, uh -huh. and travel basketball team, and um, and he really excels in baseball. Though like, he really excels in it. I, I let him know. I said, "Listen, um, I love the fact that you're getting better at this. But at at any point, you tell me, Dad, I don't like this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm done." Then you're done. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to push you to do yeah. anything you don't want to do right. because that's. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to break you and make you yes. fall out of love with the game. Yes, you know what I mean? yes, that's good, man. Because I think that ultimately your kids that are involved in sports or other extracurriculars that you expose them to, at some point they have to own it. Yeah. And we're to be as parents to encourage them in their enjoyment and owning of whatever they choose to own, mm -hmm. and not necessarily put pressure expectations on them as to what they should own. Mm -hmm. Exposure is one thing and making sure they have fun and that as they show an aptitude and interest and enthusiasm around the game to let that drive your involvement in their particular game. So I think you're on the right track. But again, ultimately for me, it's, uh, you know, it can't early on be about winning. Yes. Competition is great, it's useful, it's healthy, but you can't prioritize winning too soon because yeah. it can get the cart in front of the horse in terms of, of development. 
And I've always talked that when I talk to our kids, I talked about attitude, effort, um, enjoyment, and, and in team sports, being a good teammate. And if those things are in place as you're developing, mm -hmm. then there'll come a time when you can turn the heat up on, you know, trying to, to win. You know, there, there's one thing that I, I, I uh, love the beauty in, but also get annoyed by when it comes to the whole social media age. Like, I love the beauty at the fact that my son, if he, if he has a desire for something, he wants to use a thirst for information, mm -hmm. he can go find it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's so easy to see something and see the end result. Like, like the kids now see like a LeBron James, you know, uh, or anybody who's up and coming. They don't see the behind the scenes, mm -hmm. so they're they're looking at a two D version of a three D image. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's a great way to look at it. Yeah, so say, yeah. I, I really wish when it you're, like, you're right when it comes to losses that people get mad about that they still hand out participation awards. Yeah. But I think that's a good thing yeah. because, yeah. you know, yeah. it shouldn't be about winning and losing all the whole time. Not all the time, yeah. You and know? you don't want to overinflate participation to the detriment of continuing to strive to be your best. There's yeah. a balance. There's yeah. a balance. And I think it should always be age appropriate. Oh. You know, when you've got seven, eight, nine, ten year olds just starting to play a sport or participate in an activity, it should really be about creating a love for that mm -hmm. and giving them good sound fundamentals in that so that they have a foundation. If they choose to go further and deeper, they've got a good foundation. Yeah, It's not about trying to have them be mini pros at 9 or 10. That's true. It's not a, it's not, or mini yeah. scholarship athletes at 9. It's not about that at that point. Mm -hmm. When they get to be 15, 14, 15, if they have aptitude, enthusiasm, interest, work ethic, and that as a goal, then they will take charge of that with some help. You don't mm -hmm. have to push them to that. Nobody had to push me to go to basketball camps Yeah. when I got to be 14, 15, because I had my sights set on trying to be a college player and hopefully being a pro. So there was no need, there was no need for my mom and dad to talk to me about working on my game by the time I got to be 14, 15. Yeah. I'm trying to read up on it, get to places where I can be tested, work on my skills so that I get to the playground and we can hold court all day. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> there you, you go. There you and go. And so there was so but that was that was at 14, 15, 16. Yeah. That wasn't at nine. Mm -hmm. At nine, I'm just excited, can't sleep the night before we're gonna have all day run at the Y. Mm-hmm. In part because we're going to play ball, and then afterwards I'm going to get Nana's pizza. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about at 9 or 10. I want to go out there, have fun, play all day, maybe win, maybe not, but I know Nana's pizza's on the way home. Yeah. You know, that's what it should be about at 8, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. Then when you show ability and get more serious and want to take it, then you ramp it up. But far too often, you see people ramping it up too soon, and then the kids leave the game. Yeah, they fall in love with the game. They leave the game. Yeah. And that's a travesty, in my opinion. Yeah. That's a travesty, in my opinion. So do, so on the last thing about this, man, I, I do you think offering scholarships, like, I see now it's where, like, oh, well, you're a sixth grader, seventh grader. Let me offer you an early scholarship. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that creates part of the pressure cooker yeah, to me. Yeah, I really believe that. And I would rather not see it happen quite Yeah, much. of course. I would much rather see. What's, I mean, why, if you, what's, what's the benefit at sixth, seventh grade? Tenth is committee. probably a tad early. Yeah, committee. In my or opinion, yeah. tenth is a tad early. Should be much like it used to be way back in the day. You couldn't even visit a place until you were a junior, unless you did unofficials on your own. But that's and that's more geared towards those uniquely gifted that yeah. have already shown. But 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 I, I don't like the early offers. Yeah, I, don't, even I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't like the early offers. Yeah, really my don't. son. Uh, yeah, I really don't. To don't. think now that he can't even commit to what he, what's his favorite food. Yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> right. right. I don't like overall and, and, as a principal. I don't like the early yeah. the early offers. I understand why it's going that way, but I don't. I don't like it. And I think for the development of young young folks that are engaged in sports. That that would be something that would be um, be beneficial to pull out of the equation. Again, for me, it's fundamentals, it's fun, it's um, it's um, letting kids experience and explore what they might be interested in, and at some point, their passion and drive will kick in and determine 
how far they would like to try to take it in. That doesn't have to be forged. There you go. That doesn't have to be forged. Yeah. All right. Well, again, man, thank you so much for yeah, today. Pleasure, Matt, Corey. Really appreciate yeah, pleasure, Yeah, great to hang out. Uh, we'll get together in spring. Yeah. Yeah, play some golf. Count on it, man. 2021. There you we'll go. be on the lakes, man. It'll be fun. All right. Fun. That is it, everybody. Take care. All right. Thank you, man.